Hi guys, this is Engineer Mart of Engineer Prof Page. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video guys, we are going to discuss about trigonometry. So particularly guys, we are going to discuss about the derivation of sine law and cosine law. Okay, sine law and cosine law is very useful in computing for the lengths of the sides of an oblique triangle and computing for the angles of a triangle. So this topic guys is very useful in the board examination, especially in mathematics and of course in engineering mechanics. Okay, start tayo guys ng derivation. So, for example, here we have a triangle. So, for example, itong angle na to, this is angle A, and this is angle B, and this is angle C. And yung mga opposite ng angles are sides, of course. And we have here side A, ito ay side B, and this is side C. Small letter yun. Okay. So, here we have an altitude with respect to side B. So, let's say this is H. And of course, etong remaining uh, side dito, this is x, let's say x. And of course, this remaining side on the right side, this is, say, b minus x. Since the whole part is b and the part of the length on the right side, I mean on the left side, is x. So the remaining side on the right side is b minus x. Okay, so here, uh, we have two right triangles. We have on the left and we have on the right side. Okay, so uh, let's say that uh, sine A, okay, sine A. So when you say sine, as you recall, this is opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, if our angle is A, so the opposite side of A is H. Okay, so that is H over hypotenuse, that is C. And for the right side, right triangle, we have here sine, okay, sine C is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So the opposite of angle C is H and its hypotenuse is A. Okay, let's just get H in terms of those variables. So H is equal to C sine A and we have here uh, H is equal to A sine C. So since they are both equal to H, we can actually equate this. So we have here C sine A is equal to A sine C. So let's just rearrange this. Okay, so we have A over sine A is equal to side C all over the sine of angle C. So this is a constant ratio guys na na-derive natin. So this is what you called the sine law. Okay, so since this is a constant ratio, we can actually equate this also to B, side B, all over sine of angle B. So this is now what you call the sine law. So this formula or relationship is used in solving for the lengths of the sides of an oblique triangle and its angles. Okay, so let's proceed to the cosine law. Okay, so uh, using the same triangle, so oblique triangle siya guys, this is a triangle wherein the sides are not equal. So, we construct this triangle and we denote the angles and sides. So, this is angle A, angle B, and we have here angle C. So, yung mga opposite sa angles are the sides. So, this is side B, this is side A, and this is side C. Again, this is the height, H, and if this is X, this is B minus X. Okay, we also have formed uh, two right triangles. So, using these right triangles... Okay, let's just uh, compute for the relationship between the sides using the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, for the left side right triangle, we have here the square of the hypotenuse C is equal to the sum of the squares of the two remaining sides of a right triangle. So we have here h squared plus x squared. And for the right side right triangle, we have here, so the hypotenuse is a, so that is a squared is equal to h squared plus the quantity b minus x is squared. So let's just extract h squared and we equate 
uh, the two equations. So we have here h squared is equal to c squared minus x squared. And for the other equation, we have here h squared is equal to a squared minus the quantity b minus x squared. Okay? So, uh, if you uh, have this equation now, no, equate lang natin si h squared since pareha sila. Okay? So, c squared minus x squared is equal to this expression. That is a squared minus the quantity b minus x squared. Okay? So, this expression here, I expand lang natin. Okay, so we have here c squared minus x squared is equal to a squared minus, ito guys, expand natin, that is b squared minus 2bx plus x squared. So, tanggalin natin guys yung parenthesis, so therefore magbabago yung mga sign niya. So, we have here c squared minus x squared is equal to a squared minus, so that is uh, negative times positive here, so that is negative b squared. Negative times negative, that is positive, so plus 2bx. So we have here negative times positive, that is negative x squared. So notice here that we have a same expression na negative x squared. So that will cancel out to both sides of the equation. So we have here c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared plus 2bx and uh, we can actually express that in terms of a squared. So, we have here a squared is equal to b squared. So, dipat natin si b squared uh, doon sa kabila para maging positive siya. So, we have here b squared plus. So, si c squared doon lang siya. So, c squared. So, si 2bx ililipat din natin. So, magiging negative. So, minus 2bx. Okay? So, for x here, Pwede natin siyang i-express in terms of angle and length. So, how can we do that? So, if our angle is A, okay, so X is an adjacent side. So, therefore, we can use cosine. So, cosine A is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So, ano yung adjacent side if A is the angle? So, that is X and yung hypotenuse niya is C. So, therefore, x is just equal to c cosine a. Then, i-substitute natin siya doon sa equation natin. So, x is c cosine a. So, a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2b and x is just equal to c cosine of a. So, this is now what we call the cosine law. Okay? So, it's called the cosine law because its formula contains a cosine function. So, this equation, guys, meron siyang pattern, no? So, pwede natin siyang express in terms of uh, angle B and side B. As you notice here, if A is the side na naka-square doon sa left side, yung opposite niya na angle, yung naka-cosine dito sa uh, right side. So, therefore, kung B yung gagamitin natin, side B, so that is B squared is equal to A squared. So, yung square ng two remaining sides, so that is A squared plus c squared minus 2 times yung 2 remaining sides, so ac cosine of the angle kung ano yung naka-square na side doon sa left side, so that is cosine b and for c naman, so that is c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine of c, so this is the three relationships for cosine though okay, so we can use this for computing for the lengths and sides. So we can use this guys for computing for the lengths and angles of any triangle. Maging right man yan or oblique triangle. So that's how you derive sine law and cosine law. So that's it guys. That's it for today's video. So I hope that you have learned from this video guys. And if you are not a subscriber of this channel, I encourage you guys to click the subscribe button and yung notif bell natin para ma-notify kayo sa mga future uh, tutorial videos natin. So by the way guys, I would also like to invite all of you for my future events and that is called Enrichment Program Series Basics of Trigonometry. So that is happening on December 19, 2021. That is Sunday. So 3 to 5.30 p.m. So, in that uh, lecture, guys, I will be discussing 
uh, basics of trigonometry, problem solving, and calculator techniques. Stay tuned guys sa Facebook page natin that is facebook.com slash engineerprofph for the updates doon sa upcoming event natin which is the Enrichment Program Series Basics of Algebra. Thank you guys for watching this video and see you on my next video.